Good morning, friends, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. As promised in yesterday's vlog, let's try out our new Nespresso. I'm also pretty sure I said like espresso instead of Nespresso so many times, but whatever. So this is our beautiful little Nespresso. Oh my God, I'm just I'm so excited. And these are the little pods that come with it. Some are definitely gone already. And there's a little guide on top. And so I want to go for a latte. So I'm going to have espresso. And I think I'm going to go for this one, which is, yeah, this yellow. Let me make sure because I don't want to make the wrong one. Yeah, so this is espresso. And as usual, Tabasco is outside. Did you want to come in? Yeah? He really is a little winter dog, so. So I just put my mug there, and we open this. Oh my goodness. This little pod literally just clicks right in, and then I push down, push this to the side, and then click the drink button. Oh my God, this is just so exciting. I get excited by the small things, you know? So I also have this milk frother and I'm going to add in some oat milk just to make like an oat milk latte. Good luck. Okay, the moment of truth. His plant milks are typically very, very difficult to get frothy. So, oh my goodness, if it will open. <gasps> Pretty good, I would say. That's actually so much better than I thought it was going to be. So let's pour it in. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. And there we go. Oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm so happy. And that was seriously one of the easiest things ever. Hello besties, we are in my bathroom. I figured we would do a taste test here, switch things up, you know, and I also need to get ready for the day. So cheers. It is really good. I put definitely too much milk. Like it's a very milky latte. It doesn't taste very strong, but I'm sure once that entire espresso hits me, it'll be delicious. But today is Wednesday, so I mainly only have clients in the evening, but I do definitely have some work that I've got to get done basically right now in the morning just to be all prepped. But I always get dressed in the morning. I don't like to stay in my pajamas for very long or like my bathrobe or anything like that. Sometimes I'll change into like clean pajamas, but I really don't like to be in the same clothes from yesterday. So I'm gonna go grab an outfit really quickly, just something super comfortable and cozy. At some point this week, uh, probably this weekend in one of the vlogs, I'm gonna show you the state of my closet and we'll do a little closet clean out together because it's horrendous. Like I, I can't even close some of my drawers in my dresser just because I have, you know, clothes that I really need to get rid of, whatever it might be, so. We've got a lot of work cut out for us. But anyway, let's get ready for the day. The holidays can be really, really stressful. And I'm not even just talking about people who are in recovery or who have recovered in the past. Um, but just in general, I feel like there's so much stress in the air. I think I myself are having five different Christmases just with like different family members. It's a lot to think about, it's a lot of people to see, um, it's a lot of places to be. And if right now you are feeling overwhelmed or anything like that, just try your best to not borrow worry from the future because it definitely doesn't do you any good. In fact, it probably doesn't do anybody any good. And just know that you've also handled like every single hard day, like hardest day in your life, whether it was a big exam, a hard conversation, whatever it might've been. You've survived them all. You've survived every other holiday. So be easy on yourself, be gentle with yourself, and just know that the time, it's gonna keep ticking, um, and we can handle things sort of, you know, one at a time. That's advice that I'm trying to give to myself as well. Ever since I did that balayage on my hair, like ever since I dyed it, it's been so knotted and tangly and I don't even know if I'm using the right brush right now, but that's okay. I think it's normal for your hair to knot together, sort of when it's bleached, because it's a lot drier. But it still hurts. You've been running around in my head. And the makeup is done for the day. Somebody did ask if I could do like a makeup tutorial and when I say that I'm no guru, I am no guru. I use like eyeshadow on my face and 
things in the wrong places. I, I know that they don't go there, but I like how they look. But I definitely will be filming a little makeup tutorial slash get ready with me. Maybe we'll do some assumptions or questions. That is something to look forward uh, to this vlogmas. But I'm going to answer some emails and then we are going to go make breakfast because it's 2021. You gotta eat breakfast. If you haven't, stop this video, get up, and go get breakfast. Okay? Okay. Do you want to say hi to the vlog this morning? Do you? You do, eh? My beautiful pretty boy. My beautiful pretty boy. And outside we have the rascal. Hey rascal, come on in. Anyway, we are gonna be making some breakfast and literally all that I want and all that sounds good right now is baguette toasted with cream cheese. So that's what I'm gonna make. But I don't follow any food rules and I just listen to my body so that's what we were gonna have also i went to the grocery store yesterday and i realized I don't think i bought fruit all that i have is this case of oranges which i think i want to juice at some point and an apple but i i don't know like did i just pass the section and not buy anything because i i love fruit and that it also sounded good i just didn't have any so i'm gonna toast some of this up There we go. I used to hate Granny Smith apples. I just found them so, I don't know, bitter and not sweet. And now I love them. So our taste buds can definitely change over time. Cream cheese is my favorite and it's gotta be a thick layer or I do not want it. If I committed a crime and I received capital punishment, my last meal would definitely be either garlic bread or French baguette with cheese. It's so good. So one of Andrew's Christmas presents came in and I figured we would sort of unbox it together because as I receive the gifts that I will be giving, I will kind of share them with you. Maybe give you some gift ideas and of course it depends on the individual um, and the price points and everything like that. But let's see which one of Andrew's presents came in the mail. I think I know what it is, but I never know. Ow, it's like cutting my fingers, Jesus. If there's one thing that I love doing, it's giving gifts, except I am horrible at wrapping them. So we will figure that out in a later Vlogmas episode. Oh yes, it is exactly what I thought it was. So I picked him up this deep tissue massager, like for his back or for his calves, because he gets really tight calves sometimes. So this is super cool. It's a premium handheld massager. It kind of looks like a gun or a strange sex toy, but uh, you know, whatever. I am so excited to give this to him. I think he's gonna really like it. And I got this on Black Friday and I got it from Best Buy. If I can find a link for a similar one, I will leave it down below. But I'm so excited for his other gifts. When they come, I'm gonna show you what they are. I think later on in the month, we'll also go Christmas shopping together for things like stocking stuffers. Oh, the, the lighting just changed on us so quickly. Things like stock, look at this lighting. What is going on? It's like some angel trying to communicate with me. We need to get, yeah, stocking stuffers, things for my mother-in-law, things for my family. Um, you know, little chocolates and things like that. So I will definitely take you to the mall with me. I need to grow a little bit of confidence when it comes to vlogging in public. One, I don't go in public that often. I'm typically at home, which is why I didn't normally vlog because I thought that they would maybe be boring or very repetitive. Anyway, I've got to sort of hide this gift so Andrew does not find it or see it. And yeah, I'm gonna finish breakfast and I will see you when I'm doing something else or when you're making something. I kind of wanna make a lemon loaf today if I have time because that sounds so yummy and I'm really craving like the Starbucks lemon loaf. So maybe we will do that later. Also, how could I freaking forget? It is the 1st of December. So that means we are doing our first little advent calendar piece together. If you are in recovery, I know something like this can be very scary, but just know that it doesn't have to be that way. If it's something that you've avoided for many years in the past, how could it not be scary, right? The only way to sort of work through that fear is to challenge yourself. So. If you have one and you have not had your little chocolate today, go get it and come have it with me. 
Let's do it. First things first, we gotta take off this plastic wrap. I'm also so excited for this specific advent calendar. I love Milka chocolate, but it's been a long time since I've had any. I think I got a bunch in Europe, um, and now they sell them here, but before they didn't, or at least I never saw them. I'm so excited. Okay, so I found the first one. Look how cute it is. Look at me being like a little makeup guru with chocolate. So here we go. Mmm. I love all chocolate, but white chocolate and milk chocolate are my two absolute favorites. And it's just filled with delicious white chocolate. Amazing. So good. Anyway, December 1st is among us. So work has actually gone so well today. I just wrapped up a bunch of stuff. And because Tabasco is half Australian shepherd and half demon, um, I'm going to take him on a long walk now just to sort of calm him down. And so he is a good boy tonight. And then later, I think we will make that lemon loaf if I have all of the ingredients. We will cook it together and... But anyway, let's get geared up, dressed up, and ready to go walk. Hello, baby. Off I go. <laughs> you came to visit, but I found someone. Drove to the lake house where we fell in love. I couldn't wait because I thought you moved on. But you all I know, I'm tired of running. It is so bright outside. I'm not even sure if you guys can see me because I, I can't even see myself. But I'm actually really, really happy that I came outside. It is so nice and it's so refreshing. And it's really not, um, it's really not as cold as I thought it was. Hi! So we just got back and I am about to feed the dogs their first meal of the day. So let me get their bowls. So Harley has a lot of allergies. So they both eat like hypoallergenic food. And then I always add a little something something on top of them. So for today, they are getting some flax seeds. They are also getting some canned pumpkin. This is just like a 100% steamed pumpkin. And then I just put a little bit of water typically on top and then they are good to go. Just giving their food a little mix. Puppy number one's food. Can you, ah, 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 sit. Down, down, all the way. Good boy. Harley, come. You don't have to do tricks for your food because you're always such a good boy. He's my good old man. Hey, good boy. There we go. But we are going to be making a lemon pound cake and I'm so excited because seriously, nothing sounds better right now. And these are all of the ingredients that you're going to need. Some salt, baking powder, baking soda, butter, two lemons, some sour cream, three eggs, some granulated sugar, and just some plain white flour. Let's start cooking or baking or whatever. First things first, we're gonna preheat our oven to 325. And I'm also going to use my KitchenAid just to make my life a lot easier. So we are gonna be adding in half a cup of butter. And then we're gonna add in one cup of white sugar. Also, I know that I have a lot of wonderful, beautiful bakers who like watch my videos. If you are somebody, oh my God, I almost dropped an egg, who bakes very often, could you explain to me what the difference, I know I could Google it, but I love hearing from you guys, what the difference is between eggs that are room temperature and ones that aren't. This recipe calls for room temperature eggs, but I'm just using some cold ones. I'm gonna take this ride. To get away from you is like the soundtrack on repeat. No matter what, you never get what you need. Anything I do isn't good enough, according to you. I'm still messing up, it's like the same songs on repeat. There's no point in staying, that's why I leave. If only I this smells so freaking delicious. I love licking the spoon. It's just, it's one of the best parts. So my lemon loaf came out not too long ago. 
I don't know what I did wrong. I did something wrong because it kind of collapsed a little bit in the middle, but I'm sure it's still gonna taste delicious. I prefer lemon loaf when it's not super hot. Honestly, I really love it when it's really cold or for breakfast the next day. So I'm going to wait to have this and probably have it, you know, after dinner once it's all completely cooled. But for now, I need a super quick lunch because I have a client in like 30 minutes. So I need something that takes no time to put on a plate and just eat. So I think I'm actually just gonna make the same thing as yesterday, which I'm sorry, it might be boring, but it's one of my favorite things. And these vlogs are all about me being real and not manipulating anything or the truth or whatever it might be. So we're gonna have some crackers, hummus, cheese, um, and whatever looks and sounds good. And there we go, lunch is served. I have one more client call, but I'm going to slice into the lemon loaf. And also, I. <laughs> I realized that the reason it sunk in the middle is because it was not cooked at all in the middle. It was totally raw, so I just put it back in the oven, but this little nub at the end was cooked. So we are going to slice a piece to at least try it and see if it's any good. Beautiful, perfect. It's a solid 10 on 10. Hi friends, I just finished work for the day. I am very pooped and very tired. And instead of making dinner together because I would have to make dinner and clean up and then edit this video. I figured that we would self tan together and then in tomorrow's vlog, I'm gonna do a complete what I eat in a day video. So if you like those, you will see one tomorrow. And yeah, I'm kind of in the mood to self tan. I haven't done it in a long time. Actually, I've only self tan twice in my entire life um, and I turned a little bit streaky one time. So we'll see how it goes. You will definitely see the aftermath of the tan again in tomorrow's vlog. And then once I do that, I've got to edit this vlog and cook dinner. Anyway, let's go upstairs and grab those tanning supplies. Hello, we are in the guest bathroom and we are about to self tan. So I'm gonna walk through what I normally do. Is it right? I don't know, I'm just doing this for fun basically. And if it turns out bad, then it just, it washes off, okay? The first thing that I like to do is shave. Um, that is a choice that I make, pro-choice all the way. So I'm just gonna shave. I always use men's razors because they're so much better than women's razors. And while I'm in the shower and shaving and everything like that, I also make sure to exfoliate and I have this little like, it looks really shriveled and sad right now. It's just like an exfoliating glove because we've all got dead skin, so this definitely helps. And then this is the tan that I use. It's called Beauty by Earth. I believe that I have a discount code. And if I do, um, if I can find it, I will link that down below as well. This is a buildable tan, so you can sort of control the tint. Um, I just do one layer. But the worst thing about this, because I do like it, but the worst thing about it is that it doesn't show where you've already tanned. Like it, there's no darkness to it. It's just like a white mousse. I'll show you guys later. So sometimes I miss a spot. I try to be careful and sometimes I go over a spot too much. So just got a trial and error, you know? But first things first, let us shower and get ready. Okay, so I am out of the shower. I'm looking a little bit crazy. I like the look, I like the hair and um, I'm not fully naked. Like I'm wrapped in a towel but it is time to self tan. I also self tan my face. I know many people don't do that, but I do it anyway. Before I self tan, I also moisturize like the rougher parts of my body. So my ankles, my elbows, my wrists, that kind of stuff, my knees, um, just so that the tan goes on a bit more smoothly and isn't patchy. And then when I'm done, I moisturize everywhere. So let's get into it, shall we? I'm gonna try to not flash the camera. We'll, we'll see how this goes. I never thought that I would be like kind of naked on camera, but that's where we are. Just moisturizing my knees. This is really hard to do without flashing all of you. My Spotify rap came out today and I had top three of Taylor Swift's uh, listeners around the world, so Swifty, you know, I'm going to finish my lower half and then I'm gonna come on and update you guys So I basically did my whole body, you know how hard it is to get your back like really hard So I'm sure it'll be streaky, but whatever we're gonna do our face now So I literally I use the same mitt. I think I have a second one, but I don't know where it is. So This is what we are using see what I mean like you have no idea whether you have of tanned everywhere or not. If I look streaky tomorrow, the only person I am able to blame is myself. 
And there we go. Now basically I only do one layer and I wait for myself to sort of dry for around 10 or 15 minutes. And then I just put on a pair of pajamas, I go to bed, and then the next morning I wake up and I rinse off my tan. So you will see my tan tomorrow, but let me sort of get dressed and organized. Um, and then we will just chat a little bit before I let you guys go for today. Anyway, <laughs> I'm all done now. I'm not sure how much footage I can show. Just, you know, I'm not sure what I flashed. I'm not sure, you know, everything. I've got to look at it. So maybe you didn't see too much of my like self tanning routine, um, but it's very new. So it's bound to change at some point. So if you have a tanner that you really like, um, let me know what it is down below. This was definitely a bit more of a laid back vlog. I don't think that I really did much at all, but I'm trying to be realistic and honest with you guys and just show different parts of my life with you. So I still hope that you enjoyed it. As I mentioned, tomorrow I'm going to be filming a what I eat in a day video. So you will see that very soon. Yeah, and if you have any ideas of what else you would like to see during Vlogmas, then just let me know because I am always wanting to create content that all of you beautiful souls would like to see. But I think that that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye friends!